Real 92.3, LA's new home for hip-hop and Big Boy's Big Bank Boy. Roll. Every morning at 7.20, 8.20, and 9.20, we told you that the arrival yeah. is here all the way yeah. live, and that is Push Your <laughs> yeah. T in the neighborhood. What up, Push? What up, what up, what up? Man. How y'all doing? Doing amazing, hey. brother. Doing okay. amazing. And you know what? what's crazy about this is talking with, with Kanye when you guys were putting the album together, he played me a lot of Daytona. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And we were going to do this anyway. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But now it was like we have to do this yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know Let's what I'm saying? But the yes. album is Daytona. First off, I got to ask it, it, the reason. Why the album Daytona? Why that title? Uh, Daytona. Daytona uh, represents my favorite watch, which oh. is a Rolex Daytona. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I feel like what, what people are getting from me and Kanye in this album is, is the fact that we had the luxury of time. Mm-hmm. So it's like... You know, this is the product of having the luxury of time to make an album, a masterpiece like this. Right. And, and that's and, how I look at it, like a real masterpiece. People are throwing the classic word around. Mm-hmm. And and that's cool. You know, Puff called it a classic. Now nah, oh, it's called yeah. a classic. But I mean, I but he also called me in the morning and was he called me like five in the morning, like for the past like a few few nights. Who I did? mean, a few more Puff. OK. And he says, man, this is like an art installation. He was like, you need a whole art installation with this. I was like, man, it's a masterpiece, ain't it? <laughs> he was like, yeah, it's a masterpiece. When, when you think about <laughs> the masterpiece that y'all put together right. in Daytona and, and, and it's being, you know, taking take, take your time with it. Yeah. Do you wish that people paid a lot of attention to the body of work mm. that you did? Well, well, that's that's the whole point. It's like, you know, there is no single. Mm-hmm. Right, there was right, no right, video. Right. There's There was nothing really for it. It was just, you know. The whole thing. You get the artwork. You got the yeah. artwork a couple hours before. Y'all got it when I got it. Right. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You like, and it's a I'm lot gonna with skip that. ahead because I do want to ask about that artwork. Let's and now get the into artwork, of course, is Whitney Houston, the hotel. No. Th- no. I, what is it? Not the it's hotel. Not the hotel. Okay. It's the bathroom. 2006. It's from just, her, but her, just bathroom, her bathroom, right? Yeah, her bathroom. Yeah. From, from Whitney Houston's bathroom. And right. And there's a lot of things there. And excuse me for making that mistake. There's a lot of things there. Yeah. How did you feel about that being the album cover? Because was it a Kanye suggestion? Yeah, one hundred percent. Right, definitely a Kanye, uh, Kanye suggestion. Um, you know, then let me just tell you how it works. When it comes to the production, you know, I take full direction mm-hmm. for each one of my albums I've ever done on Good Music. He's always done my creative. Right, he was okay. editing my first mm-hmm. video that mm-hmm. we ever shot, numbers on the board, and and things like that. He's always taken the reins on that. Mm-hmm. Um, it was getting down to the wire of getting my turning my album in. We had made a, we had did an amazing photo shoot. He picked his photographer, you know, and I was like, okay, yeah, this is my album cover. Let's go. Um, you know, he hits me at one in the morning and is like, yo, I got, I got, I got an idea. I think we should change it. And I just feel like, you know, I, I feel like the, the artwork that we picked isn't strong enough. I feel like we need something stronger to match the strength of this music. Like really. Mm. So I'm like, all right, man, whatever, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. And he was like, um, as the information started coming back to me, it was like, oh, you know, it, w- it was a lot of money. And I was like, wait a minute, I don't want to pay for nothing. Yeah, like, <laughs> he was like oh. yeah, he was like, he was like, no, I'll, you know, I'll pay for it. Um, I just really feel like creatively it speaks to everything. You know, you know, when you talk about when you talk about street life, you talk about every aspect of it. You talk about the luxury of it. You talk about the 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 pitfalls, the ups and downs, so on and so forth. And I just feel like this image represents all of that and that was kanye saying that yeah okay so you know i was like listen bro you got it if you can get it right now so we can upload it and put it wherever we need to put it let's go wow and that's Mm. what it was but why like the whitney houston part of it and not just yeah if not just a bathroom that looks similar or something oh i mean we you know we deal in authenticity Mm -hmm. okay that's what it is like we we deal in authenticity at all times and and why trust kanye with all this, like with your, how you were saying, like you, you've always let him take the reins when it comes to creativity. Why, where does that trust come from? Um, his taste level. Okay. I, I feel like his taste level is a one. Mm-hmm. Um, it's always, it's always going to be, you know, strong to the point. And sometimes you got to look at people, you know, you got to let people who look at you in a certain light, you got to let them run the show a little bit. When, when it comes to how you're portrayed, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, out there. Kanye's a fan of, he's a fan of Pusha T. He's a fan of the clips. He, yes, he, sir. I, let, I like him doing my albums because he picks all the great moments that he loves. And I know he loves hardcore hip hop. So yes, it's sir. like, I'm going to have the hardest album every time because he's competing with 
I love that. A, a particular mm-hmm. time. Yeah. That's how we, you know, that's the science with me. Daytona, yep. the album is yes. available. Yes. Infrared. Yes. Was that bait for Drake? No way. No, no, no such thing as bait. You know, this is competitive for me. You know, it's mm-hmm. sport. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like um, infrared was a response that, that, that I had and held on to in regards to two birds, one mm-hmm. stone. Mm-hmm. There was a record that people were, were um, assuming that he he got it myself and Cuddy. Um, Did you take it as such? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 100 percent. And, um, you know, but, it's, you know, like you got to remember, man, I've been doing this. I've been doing this by myself with cash money and just that whole affiliated yeah. camp for seven years now. Right. Like lone soldier. What's because up? some people push, they think like like this is new. Right. Nah. The, you know, yeah. like, they the, the, yeah, there's yeah. been years of. Yeah. And of, all, listen, all competitive, all music, you know, just swipe here, swipe there. What's up? Jab, jab, punch, punch. You know, that's what it is. Right. Mm-hmm. So do you wait for a reply from Drake? Do you know that there's going to reply? Oh, Are you I, anticipating it? No. I don't, you know, I don't know what it's going to be, but I mean, he's a competitive guy. As mm-hmm. well. And I mean. And I'm not even talking about Adidas. I'm talking about when you hear infrared and then you hear oh, W Freestyle. Yeah, I don't, you know, I didn't, I didn't know that there was one coming. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, um, you know, I just knew that I was like my album and I got to speak my truth. Mm-hmm. And I feel like my fans, it's not, it's not, it's not a lot of them, <laughs> you know, um, but they're loud. My fans are really loud. My fans are super passionate. I know exactly who I'm talking to. I'm mm-hmm. talking to the streets. Mm-hmm. The streets, you know, when they hear that somebody's talking to Pusha T, they want response, reply, what you think about that. Mm-hmm. And I felt like Infrared was just a great way to articulate, you know, you know, okay, you're, you're questioning my street credibility. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I, I mean, we know, you You know, you got ghostwriters. You have ghostwriters and you... 100%. We got reference tracks. We heard all of that. So now I'm going to question your authenticity as well. Mm. And that's just, you know, that's just what we on. When you first heard Deppy Freestyle, Push yes. Your T, what was your, uh, what was your initial reaction? Why would you mention my fiance? Wow. Like, I, you know, no women, no children. What's, what's up? We're like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I looked at it. I was just like, you know, um, it made me it made me sort of dive in to like, oh, wait a minute. Who am I like really, really dealing with here? Like, like I say, I get up here. First thing you ask me about is the back and forth. So I'm like, yeah, man, it's competitive. Blah, 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 you know, cool. You mentioned my fiance. You put a name in a song like, bro, she don't even listen to rap. Like, mm-hmm. what are you talking about right now? What, what are we what are we doing? Did so that, that take was, you? That, was that was the line for you said, OK, yeah. now there are no lines. Of course, there are no. There were abs- absolutely positively no more lines because of that line. Mm-hmm. How, how do you feel about people feeling that though that you went too far by I don't, mentioning? Time. I, I don't feel so they can they can mm. keep they can keep all that. Like <laughs> I don't I don't I don't feel. I'm in L.A. right now. You ask me mm. how I feel. I'm I'm in L.A. Tupac Tupac the God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> like so, <laughs> don't ask me that here. If, if <laughs> no, if he hadn't said anything about your queen, right. would it have been a little different for you? I doubt yeah. it. No, 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 no. I mean, I just felt like. But that's probably when you said the gloves are off now. Oh, 100 percent. I, you know, and that, that's when it's like there is no there is no sensor. There is no thought process. You know, I, I, I know I know how to speak mm-hmm. like I know how to speak like mm-hmm. I know how to get my point across. I know what to play with. Like mm-hmm. I know how to do that. You you are a staple in hip hop. Man, and, and, and I'm going to tell good. you, man, how do you, <laughs> and, and what I do, I want to ask this before I get into <clears throat> the story of Adidon. Right. Now, we've been playing yours. We've been playing Drake's. We even opened up the phone lines for open phone. Right, right. And there were some people that said he's doing this for publicity. Right. I, some people said, I've never even heard of Pusha T. Okay. What do you say to those people, Push? You know, um, I, I, I can put it like this. I don't, I know, like I said before, I know exactly who I make my music for. Yes, sir. Um, I never want to make hotline bling or I never, like I tell yay all the time. We'd be working. I'd be like, yeah, you know, I never want to make stronger. Right. Like right. ever in my life. Like right. I don't. And it's no it's disrespect. There's no disrespect. I, it's no disrespect. It's not me, but it's just not, 
I know what I like to make. I know mm. what I like to perform. That last song we were just listening to, yes. I hate it. Really? Really? Hate Why? It. It's just the, uh, it just doesn't it doesn't resonate it, with me. That's not like that's mm. not the feeling. You know what and I And that's mean? my joint. Like that's <laughs> that, listen, that was my that's like one of my biggest you know, one of my biggest biggest records chart wise at the time, you know, with with the clips on and so mm-hmm. forth. Can't stand it. Really? That's not what I'm Hey, you know what I was going to say before I turned it up and started closing my eyes to it? I was going to tell you, I was going to say, man, no matter who you worked with, you never strayed away from the Pusha T or the clips that we were introduced to. Right. I never felt like, man, what is Push doing? You know what I'm saying? Even even when when Malice went on, right. it, it wasn't like you, you did a stutter step or it's like, man, what's this guy doing? Yeah. You know, but. Now, I do have to get into this the story of Adidas. Let, let's talk about it. Now, Daytona. They, hey, listen. Go get Daytona, too. <laughs> before we get into this, because mm-hmm. we can get caught up in these stories. Uh-huh. Daytona is the hottest album in the streets. There it is. <laughs> Be very clear. <laughs> and with that being said, man. All right, let's do it. All righty now. <laughs> the story of Adidas. Yes. When you heard the Duppy Freestyle, right. were you already locked and loaded with the story of Adidas? I mean... Uh, loosely, loosely, yeah, loosely. Um, you know when I when I heard like again when I heard the Duppy freestyle, I was like, okay, you know now I have to like really analyze who this person is, mm-hmm. and I got to analyze like you know just questions like, man, okay, why would you put her in it, my fiance? Yes, sir. Um, okay, what was like the line was was trash, right? Mm-hmm. It was a line about like I'm gonna make it ring on you, like Virginia Williams. The line itself is trash. Oh yeah, yeah, and. To me, I felt like, wait a minute, what like what's even what is what is the real issue with you and marriage? So then now I gotta now I gotta dig deeper into who the person is. Now I gotta dig in and see what are y'all like? What's your family like? Oh, your dad left you at five. Oh, I get that. You he never walked you to the bus stop. Mm. You're mad about this. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's like, man. You know, your mom, she never remarried. Ah, oh, you don't even know what, like, family is. So, you, of course, you don't dig marriage. Oh, I get it. Okay, boom. Dang. Okay, bang. Now it's like, you know, you got you to gotta look a little further. You got to dig a little deeper and say, okay, boom. Now, you know, you know, I love my family. Mm-hmm. And I, like, you know, it's just certain things I'm just not. I've been in this game for 16 years. Certain things I'm not into. You know, it's like like I don't like people speaking to my mother. I don't like people speaking to my father mm-hmm. about music stuff. I don't like, you know, I, I got to switch churches. You leave a CD on my mother's car, we got to switch to church. Wow. I can't do this right now. Like, because it's pressure that mm-hmm. bothers me. Mm-hmm. You know, I look at him and I'm like, oh, like you, you parade your dad around in these weird suits. You parade him. It's clown-like. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's, that's what I get. I get clown feelings from that. I look at them. Where did you get all the information? Mm-hmm. Then to you have people who are just great people out there. They're great people out there. There's, there's somebody, you know, I, I get the picture of, I get the picture of um, the actual photo that I, the photo that I use. Of the blackface. Of the, of the blackface. Right. And I'm like, okay, it makes sense. You parade your dad around. This is done in 08. This was done in 08. You don't even know that that's not right. That you like, there's no explanation for that to me. Because he did explain it, and that and you th- pushed it up a year early. You pushed it up a year early. You you got the the statement. The, yeah. Yeah, 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 I got. Do, do you yeah, want me to go? Yeah, please just read so it. So this quick. came off of uh, Drake's Instagram story. It says, "I know everyone is enjoying the circus, but I want to clarify this image in question. This was not from a clothing brand shoot or my music career. This picture is from 2007, a time in my life when I was an actor and I was working on a project that was about young black actors struggling to get roles, being stereotyped and typecast. The photos represented how African Americans were once wrongfully portrayed in entertainment. Me and my best friend at the time, Maisie." Zine, who is also an actor from Sudan, were attempting to use our voice to bring awareness to the issues we dealt with all the time as black actors at auditions. This was to highlight and raise our frustrations with not always getting a fair chance in the industry and to make a point that the struggle for black actors had not changed much. Does that change your view any? I don't believe it. Of course it doesn't change my view at all. Um, man, I'm listen, I'm push, I'm push a T. Yes, like, listen, my the biggest highlight of my life. Um, 
happened in the past few years me me messing with like obama and prison reform and so on and so forth like there's keeper yo yeah my, like come on mm -hmm. like this is me right dope boy blah, blah blah you know everything this is real me like you are silent in all black issues drake you really are you are really really silent i don't hear about anything you don't stand for nothing you don't say nothing about nothing you don't it's just what it is. Like you and you got you have all the platform in the world. You were so it. passionate back then? No you weren't. That's number 1. That's 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 what I know. Number 2, the person who took the photo. <laughs> all right, so the man <laughs> takes the photo, right? When when the photo goes up, um he reaches out to my management and says he was so passionate. He says, hey, I don't know why you're trying to make fun of this. This was an excellent, this was an awesome, this was an awesome idea that Drake gave us. He gave us an awesome, an awesome idea and I executed it perfectly. Thinking Man. that he's, thinking that, thinking that he's like bragging about, you know, just. The, the work, the, right. the way it went yeah. out. Mm -hmm. You know, thinking that he's bragging the message about is there. whatever. And I'm like, oh, this guy doesn't even know that. But I get it. Again, I get it. You got to think into who a person is to Are even do this. chess? Man, I'm playing chess, Othello. Uh, <laughs> That's a good back name. Backgammon. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like well, I mean, hot scotch every day. Yeah, man. you gotta think. Touch. You gotta think about who a person really, really is, and it's like, okay, bang. That's why it's okay. That's why it's okay for you to 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 take a photo like this. You 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 didn't even know it was right. You you don't even know how fully. You don't oh. know where you stand at. Mm -hmm. You don't know where you stand at. Oh, that's why. That's why you gotta. You know, you 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 highlight your dad clowning like that. Oh, you know, you you run you run to the Memphis. Oh, I'm I'm Memphis Houston. That's oh, that's my black side. Ah, ah, ah. You never related. Stop playing. What is off limits? When we listen to that, OVO forty is mentioned. His mom is mentioned. Dad is mentioned. The alleged son, the baby's mom, everything. Is there anything Pusha T that is off limits now? I mean, for me, no. Mm -hmm. For me, absolutely not. And I still feel like, man, I'm wild tasteful. I'm extremely tasteful in all of this. You felt like it could you could have went another layer? He like, yeah, no, I could. Very what? much so. But I feel I mean, I'm when I say tasteful, I mean in all parties involved. I'm just mm -hmm. really I'm speaking about the character of a man. I'm speaking about the principles of a man. I'm talking about, you know, when we get into uh where do we stop? Well when when we get into the even even the part about the 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 child mm -hmm. it's like man i'm i'm just trying to get the the listeners to understand it's like i think there's something wrong up here you have a whole child you you know you speak to me in your raps you talking to me you speak to me when you, when when you're multi million i feel like okay bang you got multi millions you mean you got multi millions and a whole child that's not like an arm's reach like my peers who have children cuz i don't have children mm -hmm. and i i want children mm -hmm. And I'm going to have children. Yes, sir. Right? So what I'm saying is my peers who like, you know, in this, you know, they they on the gram, they taking pictures, you know, put chains on their sons for their birthday. Yeah. And, you know, Cal he walk around with his mm -hmm. son. Like it's it's like a thing. And I'm like, again, who is this? Like you got a whole, you got a whole child that, that you suppressing. You're not even, you know, you got a whole child that nobody... Nobody knows about how true is the child because I say alleged, but right. for you nah, to come, it's real, it's real, it's real. There's no, it ain't ghostwriting ain't alleged. Mm -hmm. The reference tracks ain't alleged. The baby ain't alleged. It's not alleged. It's real. That's it. And 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 my point with that is just saying we couldn't, we can't even know about something that's like so precious. We can't even know about the the kid, right? But we can know about it when you roll it out with your alleged new Adidas deal. You can you can you can you can roll out, you know, that information with a sweatsuit and some sneakers. Mm. And is the I'm not with line that. Uh, called uh Adidon? Allegedly. 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 Man. So 
when you get we'll information see. We'll, like we'll that, see. we'll see if it comes out. Or man, I make sure it wasn't like that. If if you got me like that, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm not. Nah, I'm, we you gotta, know, we got to change the name. You know. You do know? you think? Are you anticipating a reply from Drake now to the story of Adidon? No, I'm not. Why? What's to talk about? It's all true. What's up? Mm -hmm. What about? Is there anything that you're afraid, or are you? I'm not afraid of nothing. So there's nothing that he nothing. Could Nothing. Ain't no skeletons with me. I don't have none. The realest in it. Been in it. 16. Still giving y'all classics. Mm-hmm. Still giving y'all classics. Not playing no games. If he were to come with something, do you have another layer? Because you, you said it's layered. It's layered. I, listen, I told, I told you at the end of this joint, we, gonna, we can take this slow. I'm just peeling back the first layer. This whole, this whole joint right here was 100% a responding to those things. When I mentioned, you know, if I mentioned, um, he say, you know, you chase, you chasing around Kanye. Mm. I've been aligned with the greatest my whole career. You talk about me, you talk about myself, Pharrell Williams, Chad Hugo, Neptunes, bong. You know, Kanye West, bong. Mm -hmm. Records with Jay-Z, bong. Doing my thing. I've been aligned with the greats my whole career. And on that same note, the only two I'm chasing are Ghost, mm. Pac, Big. That's the only greats I'm chasing. Period. I don't gotta chase no yay. I don't gotta do that. I know you said you don't. You don't. You wouldn't have changed anything. There are no limits. Is there a message that you do have to the community of people for someone who? And I know someone living with MS. My gr my uncle died from MS. Is there a message to those people who can't stand behind that one line? Mm. You know. um, I'm in the mix of a of a rap battle right now. Mm -hmm. And um music, like I said, is competitive and it's sport to me. Um my fiance was mentioned in something that I don't involve her in. Mm -hmm. I see or hear nothing no more. Ah. That's it with me. What did your fiance say? Did she say get them, baby, or did she say, <laughs> Oh, I'm not I'm not <laughs> for that? What does the queen say? Um she was like, what is, you know, she was like, what is that? What is, what What did that mean? He's going to make it ring on you like Virginia Williams? What does that mean? I was just like, you know, I was like, it was a reach, babe. It was a trash bar and it was a reach. But the fact that he mentioned your name, you know, I can't live with that. Mm. I can't do what that. What did Kanye West say about the story of Adidon? I never told him about it. Oh, wow. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to discuss. When we get into my family, I don't got to discuss nothing right. with nobody. So you don't play it for him. I don't not play him. clearance. No, but ain't no clearance. Ain't no planning for him. Ain't no nothing. We not doing that. Right. We not doing that. We, I, I don't got to do that. Because, like I said, I've been doing this by myself. As, I'm talking about sparring. It, you say something about yay, boom, boom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Come on. Right, right, you say right, right. Something, something about Sean. What's up? Come right, on. They jumping. They come from all sides. <laughs> What's up? What y'all want Have to you do? guys had a conversation now that the track is out, though? Afterwards? I'm going to go. I'm about to go to Wyoming tonight. Maybe, I'm sure we'll talk about it tonight. <laughs> I heard that, man. And let's flip back to when Kanye West, when he went on TMZ Live and he said that slavery was a choice. Right. What is your conversation with Kanye at the time? As conscious as you are, pushing. Right. Um, you know, it was a lot of things said. The slavery was a choice thing. Um, definitely, I think, stuck out the loudest. And I, I can tell you from a, a lot of different aspects, me being the president of Good Music, mm -hmm. um, us working on, Ye's working on five projects. Mm -hmm. Mine being the first one. His is second. A collaboration project with him and Cuddy is third. Nas is fourth. And Tiana Taylor is fifth. Now, you know, He's working on these projects. We're extremely excited. My album's about to come out. I'm first, so on and so forth. And then the TMZ story pops. Yeah. And it was like, from that point on, just, just to give you my mindset, I was like, oh, well, there's absolutely no press run for yeah. none of this. Yeah. Because there's absolutely nothing else to talk about yeah. mm -hmm. but this. You what, know, would he's, I, what, he's would, one of, what would you say? He's one of those people. You know what I'm saying? Like, his, his, his voice is that loud. But, um... You know, in regards to what me and him talked about, man, I mean, it was all about messaging. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it wasn't messaged properly mm -hmm. at all. And, I, you know, I expressed that to him. You know, we talked about, you know, insensitivities and um, 
just the just the whole all around messaging of it because there were things in it. There were things he was like. Um, there was one that, that stuck out to me in particular um, where he was like, "Man, I wanna, I wanna know. I wanna, you know. I feel like we should be being taught about how magic made a billion mm-hmm. versus focusing on history and the past and slavery." And I was like, you know what? Half of that I do agree with because I do feel like, man, we should be focusing on how to like, you know, when you we see one of us break down one of those walls, it's like, boom, we got to we got to learn this template, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and learn that plan. And I, and I like that. But I was like, at the same time, you can't. The history, the history lesson is something that we have to know just so we know that we don't make yeah. some of those same mistakes, mistakes. or fall victim right. to, you know, uh, some of the pitfalls. In a nutshell, talking to your your friend, your brother. Yes. Like, if my brother said that in a nutshell, what do you say? Do do Does Pusha T, do, do you agree with it? No. Or do you look at him like, man, what the hell? No, man? no, no, totally. I, I, I don't agree with it. Right. And it's not even in a nutshell. Like, this happened, I'm in Wyoming, like, two days later, and we with on goats a... and pigs. Yeah, uh-huh. and I'm on a one... A 3.2 mile walk with him. So that takes about an hour and change. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, man, the whole walk is just that. And what, um, What you, about the line and what would Beak do when he mentions the MAGA hat? See, that that's where I actually do like his messaging. I, I, love, I love how he messages in music and in my music. And the line about the MAGA hat, um, I believe um, he asked the question, um, if you ain't driving while black, will they stop you? And 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 then he asked the other the other question: Will MAGA hats let me mm-hmm. slide like a drive through? Like he's you know I feel like I feel like when Ye's album comes out, he's going to address you know his his true perspective. Mm-hmm. But in that line in particular, I feel like he's saying, "Man, you know I deal with these issues, and is this hat going to yeah. help me?" Less about him having the hat in the closet right. for a year and a half. Right, right, right. So it's like, um, you know, and 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 listen, that's my interpretation. I want him to interpret it. His listen, his album is coming out. It's coming out tonight, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. midnight. Like, yeah. man. First of all, y'all gonna go crazy because it's crazy. That. Yeah, I seven heard, tracks. I heard quite yeah, a bit. Seven tracks. Seven tracks. Seven tracks. Um, it's crazy. And um, again, again, I feel like his messaging is is a one, and 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 you guys are gonna get all the answers that you're looking for. And push, I did ask you. I said, Yo. have you had a conversation with with Jay Z? When we think about the story of Adonai, we think about the story of OJ. I haven't. You haven't. I I really haven't, man. And um, I actually the last time I spoke to him, um, he had to clear. He had to clear. Um, he had to clear. Uh, a couple records for my album because mm-hmm. I used some interpolations mm-hmm. from him. Um, so you know that's the last time we, you know that's the last time we, we we corresponded, and he was just like, "Man, album fire, joints are crazy." So he hasn't said anything about the story of Adam. No, no, no. We haven't we haven't talked about that. What is Surgical Summer? Surgical Summer. You know, it's um, it, it, it's 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 just my 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 interpretation of 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 what I feel like this summer can be like. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. It's gonna cut. The mm-hmm. summer can cut deep, and it can it can go all summer long. All right. There's nothing else behind that. No, 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 okay. no, no. All right. No, no, no. All no, right. No, 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 nothing else behind it. All righty. All right, they. Kim Kardashian recently met up with Trump to talk about prison reform. Would you meet up with Trump to talk about prison reform if you had the opportunity to do so? Not without Farrakhan. Um, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no. No. I. I. Um. I'm definitely not. You don't think that there would be a conversation that you could have with him no. to change his mind or anything like that? No. There's no, there's no conversation I can have to change his mind about anything. Mm. Let, me, let me ask you this, Pusha. How did we get to this point where we are today? Um, You know, with, as far as what? Just with, and not the, the, how long the, the beef been going on, but I know you, you had said that there was, there was another story or another something oh, that, you know, it, it's... With Drake. Ah oh, man, well I, I just sort of feel like, you know, you know what the records or whatever the case may be. That's one thing. But I also feel like um there's just a real estate issue. The just the whole real estate of June. Mm-hmm. You know, right. Everybody like, dropping. You know, I feel like I feel like, you know, he was gonna drop he's dropping his album in June, supposedly. I feel like Ye putting out five, you know, albums. Right in this time period, I feel like everybody's fighting 
for that real estate. And I feel like, you know, he, you know, it was known that he was coming. Then soon after, all of us as a collective are dropping. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I just sort of feel like, you know, there's a real that 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 real estate issue of the month of June mm -hmm. is a big, big issue for him. You know, he likes mm -hmm. come out uh, all eyes on him. Boom, mm -hmm. boom. You know, the truth of the matter is there will not be another hot, crazy street rap album. You other know, than? next other than Daytona. You have the, album of the year. Yeah, I totally have album of the year for sure. Then you, you know, then when you get it, you get into that. That's that's May 25th. Then you get into the gay album, you know, artistic knocking, you know, just eclectic and just, you know how he does. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. You cannot keep. There will be no music better than that. Mm -hmm. Period. Let me ask you just point blank. Push your T. Do you dislike Drake? It was sport to me. It was sport to me. Until? Or Un until period. until until the 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 um, fiance mentioned mm -hmm. it was sport to me and now it's just like all right you know what you know it 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 uh it just rubs me wrong mm -hmm. and nothing ever rubbed me wrong ever before nothing it's just like you know man it's this rap game man you know what I'm saying I've been here it's whatever but um it's it's that that rubbed me wrong where do you stand with Lil Wayne now. I don't stand nowhere next to none of them. I heard that. I stand alone. I stand alone in my four corner room staring at candles. candles. Hello. That's where, what I'm on. Where do we go <laughs> from here? Or are you not like, I'm just taking a ride. It's a surgical summer. Surgical summer. That's it. Surgical summer. I'm chilling. Um, right now, it's 100% about Daytona. That's mm -hmm. what I'm on right now. Like, you know, we sitting here, we having these conversations. But the truth of the matter is, it gets a little bit annoying because for real, for real, I got the album of the year. Mm -hmm. I really got it. Like, I'm not lying. Like, the streets is, like, talking. Like, it's, like, really a thing. And you know what, Push? I think we've said enough here today yeah. to bypass anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, now it's like we in, we in Daytona, we in album mode. Album but I, mode. I do want to ask, with, with Daytona, right? Let's, yeah, let's get I it. I do want to ask, like, uh, the, the Whitney Houston estate, they came with a statement okay. about how distasteful they thought the the picture mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. And Bobby Brown, he said he hadn't seen it. But when they told him about it, he said how disgusted he was by it. Oh, and wow. he said that someone needs to slap Kanye West. And he's the person that would do it. I mean, come on, man. That's like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't even think we should be talking about slapping anybody right. but i don't think you, you think we should be on that type of time for and real. just 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 um playing devil's advocate here yeah you went in a direction because drake said your queen's name 100 yep. percent. Right? what about bobby brown's wife picture being used on the album can he go in that direction i mean it was licensed it was paid for it wasn't stolen mm -hmm. it wasn't mm -hmm. this is this is what is offered to the world mm -hmm. that's you know like I'm not, you know, there was no, it just is what it is. And it was, and listen, it was all artistically done. Nobody was like, it wasn't, it wasn't about, you know, taking the picture and, you yeah, know, trying was, to demean anything. We were like, no we were just captions. Talking. No, like there was nothing it, added, no, no arrows. No, I, listen, it, like, I just call the picture organized chaos. Like, that's what it looks like to me. Mm -hmm. And sonically, that's what I feel like my album feels like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That was it. Are they anything before we get? Yes. Who are the top five in hip hop right oh, now? Oh man! Okay. Oh man! <laughs> um, I would have to say. Um, you can go good music. In, huh? in, in, <laughs> in, 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 in no particular order. Um. In no particular order for me, I'm going Kendrick and Cole. I'm going myself. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll just leave it at three. Do Top you three. do you mess with the Lils? Yeah, yeah. Do you Hell pay yeah. you pay attention to all the Lils? Yeah, of course I do, man. And I want to ask you this, Push. Yes. Without being on the braggadocio thing. Okay. What does Pusha T, what do you mean to hip hop? Um, I, I think that I mean um high it, it's for me you're gonna get high taste level, luxury, street hip hop. Mm -hmm. Um, lyric driven. You know, it's um, I'm always trying to recreate and 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 
recreate an emotion and a feeling that resonates in the streets. Mm -hmm. I feel like once I got them covered, you know, I can live. I live off of that. Mm -hmm. I can live off of that. I can thrive off of that. Thrive off of that. Motivate my folks. Everything else is extra. And we've been watching this for years, man. But this will remain just in radio, social media, like, because the music business is a small business. Right. And it's a small environment. Right. When was the last time you saw Drake? And if you were to to see Drake, it's not like y'all going across the club at each other. No, I don't. Listen, I like. I don't have nothing to say Mm -hmm. in seeing him or anybody, any any of those artists that I'm, you know, I don't got nothing to say to him. I said what I said. We we ain't never been, you know, uh, uh, you know, shake hands type friends or none of that. So I don't I don't have to ever do that ever. Mm -hmm. So is it time to continue to celebrate Daytona? Listen, from here on out, it's all about Daytona. I ain't mad at you, bro. <laughs> I thank for you sure. for coming in, too, man. We're going to hang with you. What's Masterpiece of the Year. Is there, there going to be a Clips reunion? Yes or no? Oh, man, I wish. Oh, man. I wish. So I wish. I Where, wish. Where's yeah. Malice at? Yeah. Like, is, is he, um, he, he done he, with his pro- business, huh? Yeah, he's probably. He no probably, Malice, he, no Moss. He's going to be calling me in a minute, probably. Has he talked to you about? Yeah. The story of Adidon? Yeah. Did he, what did he say? He because like, he's in a different place, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he said, you know, you got to speak to his soul. Mm. That's what you speak to. You speak to his soul. Daytona, the album, man. Push your T yeah. in the neighborhood. Big boy's Big neighborhood. Boy.